New at 6 between Black Friday and Cyber Monday, there's Small Business Saturday, a day meant to highlight the millions of small businesses across the country, including right here in the Valley. Patrick Shelvier has more on this. It's an initiative dating back to 2010 aimed at encouraging shoppers to support local businesses like Jackson Street Antiques and Yaya's Closet. We want to stay um, open and bring more and, you know, give back to our community in different ways. We were built on small businesses. You know, the large chain stores didn't exist. It started off on main streets in small communities and it expanded. So uh, we're part of that. According to the Small Business Administration, last year, small businesses helped create and retain nearly 1,400 local jobs to 162 businesses in the Valley. And while many people will fill malls and stores for the holiday season, mom and pop stores tend to attract other unique shoppers. People come in and when they say, wow, that says it all. That, that gives you the, the impetus to continue on through the hard and of course, of course, the good times. You come into our store, we only have a few of one particular style. So it's something personalized. It's not something that you're going to find everywhere else. They also offer up a deal they say you might not find anywhere else. You're going to find a smile. You're going to find, a, you know, a very calm environment. We offer, you know, refreshments here. We have, you know, music. We, we just want it to feel comfortable and a relaxing shopping experience. Christina Flores is from the Valley, but right now she calls San Antonio home. She says she enjoys shopping at small businesses, whether it be for the smaller lines or even the top quality items and customer service. I think small businesses are often forgotten. Um, I feel like a lot of them tend to hold more valuable items and items that are kind of just displaced and forgotten. Sometimes people just need to take that time to just appreciate the smaller things. In Cameron County, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.